Casey Gray here, and you are watching another episode of The Conscious Builder Show. We have a lot of projects where we have a lot of conversations on site about design ideas or design options. And I gotta put it out there that we are carpenters and we are not designers. I think there is a tremendous amount of value to having, whether it's a designer or an architect or an architectural technologist or an engineer, we all have our fields of expertise. And for us, it's the contracting portion, it's the management portion, and of course we are carpenters as well. And if you I always tell people, if you were to ask a carpenter to build a house, they would build a box. It would be solid, it wouldn't go anywhere, but it may not look <laughs> the nicest. Um, and that's where designers and architects and engineers and architectural technologists all come into play. And that's why we need a good team of people working together. So as a project manager and uh, as a, you know, our leads on site and as a site supervisor, there are certain things that we will do as part of the construction. And that's the key word is construction. We will build everything that needs to be built. We will manage everything that's required in order to build that drawing that design whatever it may be but we are not designers so we are not for example going to decide what pattern to put your tiles on the wall or where your towel bar is going to go or uh, what height the tile should go to or the the colors of the tile or the paint on the walls or the finish of the cabinetry or the countertop finishes or where the hook goes or what the doorknob should be or what the trim baseboard and door style should be and what the window style should be and the colors and exterior cladding and you get my point. <laughs> There's a lot of things that fall into the, the design world that we don't charge for and that we don't actually have necessarily the training or the expertise in uh, and that should be left for those people who have the training and expertise in those fields and we love working with those people. So in order to have a successful project I think the designer and the architect and everybody that needs to be involved before is involved sooner than later. Will we provide input on design? Absolutely. I think there's a tremendous amount of value of having someone like myself be involved throughout the design process, not designing, but offering input with regards to potentially the constructability of something. Because something that looks amazing may be quite expensive to build, for example putting a crazy design into your tiles is going to be more expensive to install. Doing the bump out on the side of your home is going to require some extra engineering, steelwork, welding, whatever it may be. It's going to cost more. How do we do those air sealing details around those? Those are things that we can help with. How does everything come together? Where is the ductwork going to run? Do we have ductwork? Do we do, maybe do we do a different system? Those are the things that we can provide input on. And then once you do have some of those design decisions, like Here's the three style of cabinetries we we're thinking of doing. Here's the three countertops. Here's uh, the wallpaper. The wallpaper's coming back. <laughs> Here's the wallpaper we want to do. We can get pricing for all of those things. But when a homeowner, for example, goes to one of our guys on site and says, what size vanity should I put in here? That may not go as well as we were hoping to, or it may not look as well as we would like it to because our guys, myself included, we are not designers. We are we know how to install it. We know how to make sure that it shows up on time. And, and we know how to make sure, you know, we'll check, make sure it's not damaged. We'll get the codes. We'll do all of those things. But we will not design, nor do I think you would want us to design. So if you do want a complete list of things that would be included, for example, in project management design, we did do a blog post on this and it's in the link below. So you can check that out. Uh, that's essentially what we would be including in, in what we do. Uh, and I've written out everything that I talked about here. And also, if you would like to continue to stay up to date and learn more about the construction industry, whether it's custom homes or renovations, please subscribe to this channel here and we will see you on the next episode.